Akasha Jnana Kriya As codified and taught by Yoga Maharishi Dr. Swami Gita Nandagiri Guru Maharaj in his Yoga Step-by-Step Lesson 31. This Kriya is a wonderful tool to help us concentrate. Why so many people have trouble concentrating? Swamiji teaches us that this may be due to excess tension or focusing on negative emotions, such as worry. He teaches us, how do we clear the mind of such tensions? By a simple form of relaxing concentration known as the Akasha Kriya. Akasha is a Sanskrit word that means ether. Here, Akasha is taken to mean a mental state of shunya stanam, which is devoid of any quality. Not that the mind is thrown blank, as this cannot be. There's no void in nature. All is filled with akasha, hence the term akasha kriya. Literally, the mind is thinking, but is thinking no thought. Deep relaxation comes about quickly, and this kriya is also an excellent way to rest the eyes. Just a couple of words of advice before we commence. If the eyes are sore or you suffer from eye strain, then you should cold pack the eyes before doing this Kriya. Avoid rubbing the eyes and do not wear eyeglasses when doing any form of yoga and particularly not while relaxing. The nose piece of the glasses or contact lens presses against nerves that will throw up color images shifting rainbow patterns or colored lights, all undesirable from the standpoint of relaxation. A calm mind has an inner screen of velvety blackness. If you have eye disorders, then the postures of the Kona or Tri Konasana will help as these get circulation up into the head. Shirshasana, the headstand, must be performed with the guidance of a qualified teacher. This posture may help, but should not be used with high blood pressure or glaucoma. Palming the eyes with the cupped hands will also reduce eye tension. The Akasha Nyana Kriya is performed in a sitting up relaxation posture, such as Vajrasana, Sukhasana or Padmasana. In order to benefit from the practice, we will perform three rounds of Dauti Pranayama, the Mukha Bastrika, cleansing breath, so that we can enhance the benefits of this Kriya. So let's begin. Take up a high heel sitting posture, Vajrasana, with the heels together, buttocks on the heels, knees together, hands on your thighs. We will take in a deep breath puckering our mouth out in the Kaki Mudra and then blasting out the breath in multiple whooshes as we lower the torso and head to the floor in Dharmikasana. We'll repeat this for three times. So sit up in Vajrasana. Breathe out to prepare. Then take in a deep breath in. Kaki Mudra. Inhale, bring your chin up, come back up to Vajrasana. Inhale, come up. Stay here in the Dharmikasana and let your nose be between your knees or as close as possible. Reach out your hands backwards to touch your feet and relax. Concentrate on the point where your head touches the ground. And relax. Prepare yourself to be aware, mindful and full of care 
for the Akasha Jnana Kriya. On your next inhale, come back up to Vajrasana, where we will perform nine rounds of Savitri Pranayama in the six by three count. Breathe out to prepare. Inhale through your nose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold in the breath. One, two, three. Exhale through your nose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold out the breath. One, two, three. In. Hold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. And relax. Now concentrate your mind on velvety blackness. Think about the color of warm darkness. A velvety blackness. Continue breathing rhythmically and deeply. Relax your face, your shoulders, your arms. Sit up 
while being fully relaxed and breathe. If it is difficult to imagine velvety blackness, then imagine that you are sitting before a black velvet drape and gazing passively into the warm black plush. Do not let your eyes get involved or move about. Relax them. Relax. Breathe. And relax your mind into a velvety blackness warmth. Observe yourself and notice if you're getting distracted or if you tense up or if you're falling asleep and concentrate gently on this velvety blackness again. In full relaxation, anchor yourself to your breath. And you may stay in this relaxation for a bit longer as you're gently focusing on Akasha, enveloping and infusing all that is inside and outside of you. After a few minutes of this Kriya, you may rub your hands together to create some warmth in the palm of your hands. And then place the cupped hands over your eyes. And here you may open your eyes into the black velvety warmth of your cupped hands. Relax your eyes even though they're open. And you may also stretch them up, down, left and right, and in circles. Very gently and slowly you can remove the cupped hands from your eyes as the natural light comes in. And you can gently open your eyes and complete the Akashanyana Kriya by bringing the hands together and invoking the Pranava Om. Om.